Welcome to Westminster's Upper School Honor Ceremony. Though this is not the end of the year that any of us imagined, we are excited to join together virtually to celebrate the many accomplishments of our students and also to recognize God's faithfulness throughout another school year. There are many people I want to thank for helping to make this year a success. First, the students. Many of you I have watched grow from energetic, lively seventh graders navigating the waters of middle school into capable, independent young men and women who pursue interests with a passion and bring a wide array of talents to our school. The teachers and I genuinely enjoy working with each of you. Thank you for challenging us and also for making us laugh. Thank you to the faculty. You are amazing. I wish everyone could see the full picture of the time and the love that you pour into your students. This group of teachers continually work to reach students academically, spiritually, and in other ways. They are so committed to loving the students well and regularly praying for them, even more evident during this time of remote learning. Mrs. Smith, thank you for the many ways that you serve our community, handling all the details that make the school run so smoothly. Thank you to the parents. We know it is a sacrifice on your part to send your children here. We appreciate your trust and your support through prayer, encouraging words, and even fun treats. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you especially to the WPA, the council members, the upper school coordinators, the grade level coordinators, and the many other parent volunteers who are so thoughtful and encouraging in their support of the school. Thank you also to Julia Farr and Melissa Apostle and the other moms who faithfully gather each week to pray for us. We are so blessed. Before we begin, I do want to say to students, we are so proud of all of you. You are all created by God in his image with special gifts. Our goal is to glorify him through our talents, and I am thankful for the many ways that you have done that this year. The ceremony this year will obviously look different than it has in years past. Each department's awards, including highest numeric averages, teacher's awards, and other special awards will be presented on slides. At the end, Mr. Case and I will present the faculty cups, valedictorian and salutatorian, and scholarships. Again, we are very proud of the accomplishments of all of our students and want to celebrate them well. Mr. Case will now open us in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this exciting time as we end another school year. We certainly are very grateful and thankful for your blessing on the school uh, this year during these challenging times, how you have uh, continued to show up and bless your community uh, with health, uh, with hard work, and with servant-hearted uh, teachers and administrators and the board of trustees, Lord. And we just thank you for our community. Thank you for our parents and their support their partnership and Lord, we're so thankful for our students who have been challenged in ways they've never been challenged before and you've given them an extra uh, sense of hope uh, and Lord, we thank you for that and an extra sense of hard work and we're so grateful for our students and their hard work Lord, we uh, want to celebrate today a wonderful school year and a lot of hard work uh, for our students and we're so grateful uh, to be here today and we just invite your presence here as we look to you to give you all the honor and praise for all the many things that you do for us, especially as we close down this school year. We thank you and love you, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
From the Board of Trustees and the school's leadership team, I want to congratulate the, cap, the class of 2020 for all of their hard work and accomplishments this year. The class of 2020 has led well and met the high academic standards and expectations set before them. Class of 2020, we are very proud of your accomplishments inside and outside the classroom. I also want to say thank you to the faculty and staff for their dedicated work and passion for the Westminster mission. Finally, parents, I want to congratulate you and thank you for your support and partnership this school year. In an effort to attract the most exceptional students from the CSRA to Westminster's upper school, the Westminster Honor Scholarship was established in 2010. In the tradition of academic scholarships found at the most prestigious schools, the Westminster Honor Scholarship is a highly selective academic merit-based award offered to new ninth grade students that provides a partial or full academic scholarship for up to four years. Candidates for the honor scholarship must first be nominated, then invited to apply. Candidates complete a competitive admissions process that includes an in-depth interview, standardized test scores above the 95th percentile, excellent middle school grades, strong teacher, teacher recommendations, exceptional writing samples, and a desire to excel academically. The caliber within the candidate pool each year is exceptional. Once chosen, the Honor Scholar recipient holds this distinction and scholarship for all four years as long as he or she maintains strong academic standing. Today, I would like to recognize and congratulate the Westminster Honor Scholar from the class of 2020. Nan Woodward. Nan has withheld the Westminster Honor Scholarship for the past four years and she will graduate from Westminster with distinction, National Honor Society, and Beta Club Honors.
Nan will attend the University of Georgia Honors College next fall. Congratulations, Nan. Westminster scholarships come from the school's endowment. An endowment is a funding tool in which gifts reside in an account and the investment income from those gifts support these scholarships. Our endowed scholarships help give access to a Westminster education to several well-deserving students. I'm here today to present some of these prestigious endowed scholarships. Dr. Oliver was pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Augusta for over 27 years and was founding member of our Board of Trustees. Both Dr. and Mrs. Oliver labored tirelessly on behalf of Westminster, its mission, and its students and families. The late Mr. J. Bland Goodwin, an elder of First Presbyterian Church, graciously established this scholarship to honor their love for Westminster and their commitment and sacrifice to our school. From our school's beginning, Mr. Goodwin observed Westminster's faithfulness to its mission. He was impressed to see Westminster graduates serve Christ in college, life, leadership, and service. Mr. Goodwin was a graduate of Georgia Tech, a member of the State Bar of Georgia, and a World War II Navy veteran. Through his foresight and estate planning, Mr. Goodwin provided for the establishment of this scholarship in 2010 following his death. The John W.P. and Christina Hope Oliver Scholarship is awarded to a rising 7th through 12th grade student who demonstrates diligence in coursework, effort beyond the expectations of the teacher, interest and initiative beyond the required course expectations, and a particular interest and engagement in a field of study, and has a cooperative and teachable spirit. This year's recipient of the John and Christina Oliver Scholarship is Lily Hardenberg. Lily is a servant-hearted member of the Beta Club and a member of the state runner-up swim team. Congratulations, Lily. The Matthew Clark Memorial Scholarship was established by the Clark family and friends. It is given to a rising junior or senior to remember their son, Matthew, who once attended Westminster. Their desire is that God be honored and Matthew remembered as a boy who loved life and the Lord. The scholarship is awarded to a student who applies him or herself academically, is involved in athletics, and is growing spiritually. This year's recipient of the Matthew Clark Memorial Scholarship is William Campbell. William is a member of the student leadership team, a member of Beta Club, a growing leader, and plays soccer for Westminster's championship soccer program. He is always smiling, kind to others, and applies himself in all that he does. Congratulations, William. The Aquila Smith Scholarship was established through a gift from Miss Smith's estate to Westminster at the time of her death. Miss Smith was a member of the original Board of Trustees and had a great love for the school. Her generous support of the school in our early years provided the resources necessary for Westminster's preservation, and subsequent growth. The Moss Scholarship is presented to a rising junior or senior interested in science or medicine, to a serious, capable student who has demonstrated a desire to help others. The scholarship was established by the Moss family and friends of Dr. Moss from the medical community. Their desire is to honor God and remember Dr. Moss as the caring physician that he was. The recipient of the Aquila Smith and Dr. Richard N. Moss Memorial Scholarship is Michaela Ayeti. Michaela is a member of the National Honor Society and a member of the National Beta Club. She is hardworking and is very committed to all of her academic pursuits. Congratulations, Michaela. The Elliot Edgars Hamilton Rivers Memorial Scholarship is presented annually, annually to a rising sophomore, junior, or senior. The scholarship was established through the generous contributions by Elliot's friends, family, and his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Kerry H. Rivers. Through this scholarship, the Rivers' desire is to glorify God and to remember Elliot as a boy who cultivated his passions, his love for soccer, his enjoyment of playing the piano, and his deep friendships. Elliot loved the Lord and pursued life with vigor, especially his affection for his many friends. This scholarship is given to the Westminster student who applies him or herself academically, participates in Westminster athletics, and is growing spiritually through the active involvement in his church and school community. This year's recipient of the Elliott River Scholarship is Sydney Roseman. 
Sydney is in the National Honor Society and Beta Club and a former and a member of the cross country and soccer teams leading others through a Christ-like spirit. Congratulations, Sydney. The Michael J. K. Memorial Scholarship was established in 2014. Michael Joseph Cave was the grandson of Dewey Cave, the chairman of the founding board of Westminster Schools of Augusta. Like his grandfather, he had a radiant smile, loved people, and people loved him. While a student at Westminster, Michael was quick to make a friend and give a word of encouragement. His life made a positive impact on those he encountered. Michael's early home going is God's special reminder that we are but a vapor, and what matters most is that our names are written in heaven as we are reminded in Luke 10, 20. Due to the generosity of Michael's family, friends, and classmates, others will be recognized for similar God-given qualities, and their Westminster education will be supported through this memorial scholarship that bears Michael's name. The recipient is a student who positively serves and influences his community, setting an example for others. He enjoys life and is industrious and not afraid to work hard. He is approachable and others seek out his company. The recipient of this year's Michael J. K. Memorial Scholarship is Eli Daniel. Eli is a three-sport student athlete playing football, basketball, and soccer as a freshman this year. He cares about others, leads by example, and is always upbeat and smiling. Congratulations, Eli. It is my privilege to present this year's valedictorian and salutatorian of the senior class to you. The honor of valedictorian is determined by having the highest cumulative numeric average earned in high school coursework, while the honor of salutatorian is determined by having the second highest cumulative numeric average earned in high school coursework. Students must also have taken at least seven designated honors or advanced placement courses. We would like to recognize the consistent hard work and diligence of these students, and we look forward to hearing their speeches at commencement. This year's salutatorian is Mr. Grant Fuller. Grant has been at Westminster since first grade. This year, Grant served on the student leadership team as one of the athletic student leaders. Grant was on the varsity baseball team for five years and the varsity football team for four years, part of the state championship team last fall. I appreciate Grant's diligence, hard work, and commitment to everything he does. Grant will be going to Clemson University in the fall, and I know he will continue to accomplish great things. This year's valedictorian is Miss Grace Pridemore. Grace has been at Westminster since ninth grade. This year, Grace served on the student leadership team as the admissions student leader. Grace has been one of the yearbook editors for the last two years, and also a cheerleader for her junior and senior years. I appreciate Grace's cheerful smile, quirky sense of humor, and positive attitude in everything she does. Grace will be attending the Honors College at the University of Georgia in the fall, and we look forward to hearing about her many accomplishments. The Faculty Cup Award is given to a boy and a girl from each class who reflect and exemplify Westminster's core values and who have made important contributions to the school community throughout this school year. These contributions may include academic achievement and diligence, extracurricular participation, community service, Christ-like behavior, or spiritual leadership. The ninth grade recipients are Christopher Hernandez and Samantha Owen. The 10th grade recipients are Jack Tab and Lily Hartenberg. The 11th grade recipients are William Campbell and Reagan Lutz. The 12th grade part recipients are Keller Pansari and Erin Colley. Next is the Christian Leadership Award. This award is given to recognize one outstanding senior who has made significant contributions during his or her school career and who demonstrates character and values representative of Westminster's Honor Code as an example and leader to those around him or her. Although contributions may include those similar to the Faculty Cup Award, this student should exemplify Christ-like behavior and spiritual leadership throughout his or her school career. The recipient of this year's Christian Leadership Award is Ms. Erin Colley. Congratulations to all of our students for their many achievements. We are so proud of you. 